Mitch Blaska, a well-known figure in the Gold Rush show, has become a household name due to his exceptional mechanical prowess and ability to troubleshoot on the spot. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. His contributions to Parker's team have been small, but his skills and uncanny abilities have sparked speculation and rumors among fans about his potential exit from the team. The speculations have turned into an actual debate, with fans questioning why Mitch hasn't left Parker yet to start his own operations. Mitch is a seasoned professional known for his fast thinking and problem-solving abilities, particularly in the highly pressing problems that arise when operating heavy gear. He has a fat paycheck and is known for his collaboration with knowledgeable colleagues and overcoming obstacles in mining operations. Some fans praise Mitch's skills and prowess, while others point out the difficulties he may face if he decides to go solo, Mitch can start his mining business and make a fortune. He seems to be the kind of person who gets satisfaction from doing tasks by hand and effectively solving problems. He seems to have a knack for spotting problems and finding solutions from an outsider's perspective. For every heavy contribution he makes, he receives huge compensation, which is understandable because he does make a lot of contributions. His robust paycheck is evidenced in his ownership of multiple high-end race cars and a classic muscle car as a business owner. Parker understands the importance of looking after key team members and ensuring that their conversations display a range of viewpoints. In Season 5, Mitch Blaska made the crucial decision to join Parker's crew, and since then he has continuously produced remarkable outcomes. As Gold Rush fans continue to debate whether Mitch will leave the team or not, one thing is for sure. Mitch's commitments and expertise will leave a big mark on the mining operations of God Rush. Mitch's skills and on-demand problem-solving abilities have helped keep Parker's wash plants in smooth operation and contributed significantly to the gold mining endeavor. As the Gold Rush saga continues, Fans wonder whether Mitch will go into mining for himself. The speculations about Mitch leaving seem to be becoming reality, as it is reported that he has already made a decision to leave the team to explore new opportunities and forge his own path. Parker was far from happy to hear the news, as Mitch had been more than just an employee or associate. He had been a mentor and a brother in arms throughout their operations. Mitch Blaska is a talent. Ed, a mechanic and right-hand man, has been an indispensable member of Parker's crew since Season 3. He joined Hoffman's crew in Season 3 and later joined Parker's team, where he managed wash plants and was crucial to Parker's gold mining operations. However, tragedy struck in Season 9 when Mitch was involved in a boat accident with Parker, resulting in a broken arm. This incident raised serious concerns about Mitch's health and its impact on Parker's gold mining operations. The season's final gold totals show that, despite the setback, Mitch proved his indispensability once again, fully recovering and continuing to contribute to the team. Parker Schobel expressed his regret over the event. Mitch's contributions as a foreman mechanic and right-hand man should be emphasized as he played significant roles in keeping the operations ongoing, such as when he accompanied Parker and helped him haul in $400,000 worth of gold in Season 9. Parker and his crew took Alaska by storm for gold on a historic mining ground, hoping to expand their empire. They brought Mitch Blash to help them. Prospect for an area first mined in the 1900s, the Ultimers excavated shafts through concrete up to 100 feet deep until they hit the ground above the bedrock they mined horizontally and pulled some gold to the surface where they washed the last dirt through primitive saw boxes, leaving behind some of the gold they had found in their training Alora, and her husband Drew thought there might be a way to salvage their season on this historic ground. They laid them further into the claim to prospect for an area first mined, in the 1900s, the old-timers had excavated shafts 
through concrete up to 100 feet deep until they hit the ground above the bedrock. The old-timers left gold behind in their tailings, which became a huge advantage for the team. The mine boss expected the airstrip wash plant, Big Red, to produce 1.8 op per hour, but it produced 22,450 op worth $400,000. Mitch had contributed immensely to Parker's gold mining operations by being both a foreman and a mechanic, but he had also seen some failures despite these challenges. Mitch managed to maintain his calm and make a surprising comeback, making huge money for Parker during one of the gold rush seasons. Parker was ready to head to Alaska to conclude plans for mining claims. Before leaving, he met his trusty fireman, Mitch Blaska, on the mining site to discuss the wash plants and ensure everything was in order. However, trouble always sneaked in, and it was after Parker had left that Mitch realized that one of the machines in the mining sure had had a breakdown right in his presence. Mitch, overseeing the activities of Parker's entire team, was very acquainted with the machines, so it surprised him when the super stacker one of the most important machines that played a crucial role in Sling Gold, suddenly experienced a failure right before the action began. The super stacker was supposed to work closely with Lucifer, who was already in position alongside Big Red, to separate pay dirt from gold. Mitch had planned to use the super stacker alongside the Lucifer to meet the target for the week. Now that the machine had decided to shut down without warning, things could get out of hand, and their weekly gold output could be cut short. Mitch had to do something to get the traitorous machine back to life and have it back into the game as soon as possible. The problem started when one of the mechanics in Parker's crew tried to adjust the super stacker to the perfect angle so it could feed Pater to Lucifer. At first, the machine was very responsive, and the crew kept cheering until something unexpected happened. The super stacker crashed, suddenly coming to an abrupt halt with a loud metallic sound that drowned out the cheering of the crew. Alec ran to the machine to try to identify the problem. After almost circling the machine, he found a spot where oil was leaking. Alec pointed out that the super stacker blew the plug out of the cylinder, causing the leakage. The plug was supposed to keep the oil in place but it was quite a headache with the plug blown out in an attempt to contain the situation. Alec tried to raise the super stacker, but that was the wrong move, causing the top of the plug, sealing the cylinder, to fall away in this situation. Mitch stood out due to his problem-solving skills, as he stood out in the face of a seemingly simple machine failure. Mitch and Akit were unable to find a new plug in the mining area, due to the high chances of finding one in town. They decided to search for a plug from an old rig truck, which they found to be idly sitting around. They searched through all the plugs in the engine, but most needed to be bigger for use. Alec noticed that the truck had many parts missing, and Mitch confirmed that they had used kits of parts from it to fix parts of faulty machines. Finding a plug in in TML was an arduous task, and they kept looking until they found their ideal plug, but it was too big to be used. After a fruitless and frustrating search, they abandoned the old truck and decided to try other machines in the area. Mitch decided to go for a drilling machine with lots of hydraulics, potentially carrying many plugs. They moved to the drill machine expecting to find a small plug, but found the right types of plugs were too big to increase their odds of finding the perfect plug they decided to check other parts of the drill machine. They found the bottom of the lift cylinder filled with a mass that contained a tiny plug. They focused on that single plug, hoping it would end their tiring search. Mitch unscrewed the plug while praying it was right, as the super stacker was still motionless. After some screwing, the plug came loose and Mock stated that it looked small enough when they got to the motionless machine. Mitch wasted no time directing the plug into the rightful position before attempting to screw it in. If the screw fits, the trouble is gone, and they can resume their brilliant plan for the day. Mitch kept muttering to himself nonstop, letting go of all the built-up tension. 
Alec waited for a double confirmation of his thoughts and prayed for them to be true. After Mitch confirmed that the plug was right, both couldn't help but give themselves a quick high five. Finally, the crew was back on track as Mitch had saved the day with his genius thinking and resilience. Even in the face of frustration, the super stacker mining equipment that was causing an oil spillage crisis was a significant setback for the team. After fixing the super stacker and resolving the oil spillage crisis, the crew had to redirect their efforts to get Lucifer to work in as much pay dirt as possible before Parker returned from Alaska. Mitch Blaschka, the right-hand man of the boss, drove the 120-ton super stacker down to the Lucifer to ensure a seamless passage of PD to the wash plant. Mitch maneuvered the machine to connect with Lucifer, and the crew held their breaths throughout the process. It was only when the two machines were successfully connected that they heaved the sighs of relief since the super stacker went down, valuable time was lost, and both the super stacker and the wash plan had to work extra hours to recover the amount of gold they originally intended to make for the week, and by extension, the season. At the end of the week, the boss returned from Alaska and linked up with his crew, preparing to weigh the total gold they had mined for that week. Parker asked about the situation with the super stacker and how the plug was replaced, and Mitch did the honors of briefing him about what had transpired. The other wash plant bug was also active, having been working nonstop in the dirt throughout the week. Both wash plants generated as much output as they could, given the unique circumstances in which they found themselves. When it was time for the gold to be weighed, it came to 16,285 ohms worth over $290,900. That was the total gold generated by Lucifer, despite the significant setbacks that it faced. Mitch Blaska has been a force to be reckoned with on numerous seasons of the Discovery show Gold Rush. He first worked for Todd Hoffman and then Parker Schnabel over the years, lending his expertise to help whoever he worked with strike it rich. However, when he's not always digging for the precious metal, it's only natural for fans of Gold Rush to ask where Mitch Blaska is now. He's still on the show, appearing on season 14 at some point. His Gold Rush future was put in jeopardy when he ended up in a serious jet boat accident along with his boss, Parker Snobble, sustaining a broken arm in the process. Fortunately, he maintained a positive outlook throughout the ordeal and eventually got back on his feet in addition to his work on Gold Rush. Mitch Blaska operates a Cameo account where people can pay him to send personalized messages to themselves or loved ones. With a rating of 4.98 out of 5 on the platform, Mitch does a great job at it, and for the time being, fans can still see him on the show helping Parker Snobble find the most gold each season.